Hello everyone, welcome to the Captain's Video Blog. We are Sunday, October the 23rd, 2016. And, uh, well, Marseille has drew against, uh, drawn against Paris. Um, yeah, that was a, really a rubbish match. Uh, nil-nil, I think, zero, uh, shots in the whole game from Marseille. Uh, apparently it hasn't... Uh, happened in in Ligue 1 since 2006. Um, I don't remember who's done that, but uh, that was probably one of those one of the teams that got relegated that year. So uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> to be fair though, uh, not allowing Paris a single goal was uh, well. I mean, it's always a good thing, uh, you know. Um, the system was a a 5-3-2 which um, really makes you think that they're gonna play in you know kind of a, like a a catenaccio um, not letting a lot of spaces for for the forwards even though <coughs> um, you could also say that um, when the defenders let let some space you know allowed for some space to to be there uh, no one on Paris team um, has been able to to really exploit those situations so uh, yeah but uh, we really have to thank one man uh, for his great contribution to this goalless draw and his name is Edinson Cavani with two headers over the bar and um, one well I mean it was a goal with any other striker I would say but uh, he was not even a meter away from the the goal line um you know r right at the center you know and uh i mean you know that was a wonderful cross by matridi and uh, he he winged it to the left <laughs> how does this man do um i mean it's a talent not one that should be celebrated or anything but that's uh that's a talent anyway. Um, he's been able to to fuck up so many chances that you know he is the man of the match uh, in his own respect. You know, other than that, the Rolando um, who managed to shut out um, Di Maria and basically any other offense by the the Paris players. So uh, yeah. Um, really deserves, you know, the the status of man of the match um, because, you know, um, with Doria, he makes for a very effective defense, um, a very effective central defense at that. Um, so yeah, what can you say? Um, um, well, I mean, besides that, it was rubbish. Um, Marseille only got like two chances, and both times, none of the strikers could make anything of that uh, because of the the Parisian defenders, um, uh, especially Thiago Mota, who is, I mean, he's still an incredible uh, defender. Um, apparently, there's been talks um, with the the president and um, the director of, s of football in, in Paris and uh, those talks stopped around the, the, the end of last season which is strange because you know when you have that kind of player in your defense you really don't want to to give them up um, so uh, yeah it should be in their best interests maybe to to resume those talks but uh, then again you know if a defender like that goes away, well, that's more chances for the other teams. Um, you know, had had Tova and, and Mashash and and Gomis not uh, faced uh, Thiago Silva, the match would have been probably different. At least we would have had some shots. Um, so yeah, uh, but besides that, you know, it's I mean, a draw is still one point. It's still way better than losing. Um, I think it's the first point that Marseille brings from brings back from Paris in 
quite a few years actually so uh, yeah I mean pr probably the first point since uh, the Qatari arrived um, so uh, that's that's already a performance in and of itself um, but yeah I, uh, you know some stuff that you really don't want to to remember the 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 content of the match um, the match itself you know the result nil nil goal is draw it's one point the first point uh, brought by Rudy Garcia and you know with a completely new system you know with with um, always been uh, we've always been um, in a in a system with four defenders um, and one or two strikers um, since well probably two seasons already so um, uh, five defenders is it's already and you know it, it's balancing the team towards the defense and uh, well it's good to see that at least the team is able to do that um, so yeah props to to everyone involved for that that match uh, it's you know the beginning of of something new you can really feel it uh, even though the result you know the match doesn't really seem to do it but uh, yeah um, next week is another big game of the of the championship because I mean Bordeaux were the big players against Marseille in the 80s um, but it really died off because there are more things than just football when you you go against Paris uh, to be quite honest um, so yeah uh, next week Marseille plays Bordeaux first match of Rudy Garcia in the Velodrome so that's already going to be something yeah um, so yeah uh, besides that what can I say oh yeah I think I th I'm not sure but I think that I have watched all the first episodes of everything that I'm watching this season um, so uh, yeah uh, I mean I don't really I'm not really able to make an opinion you know to make my own opinion about all of that because well besides the fact that there's just so much that I'm watching uh, there's also for some series only one episode that I've watched uh, you know so uh, probably gonna have to wait like a couple more weeks when uh, I'm really caught up I, I really hope that I'll be caught up in the next in the next uh, well couple of weeks but because uh, for some series it will already be the halfway point so uh, yeah uh, <coughs> but if I'm not that wouldn't be uh, a disaster you know um, for most series I'm I'm caught up even though you know I'm a few days late uh, but uh, um, I don't know there are, I mean there, there's there's stuff that I, I I know for sure that I will keep watching until the end of the season because you know um, there's always the the off chance that I might drop something you know I've only dropped like three series or two I mean one I should have dropped it was Maho Sento back in in winter of 2014 because <laughs> that was bad but uh, yeah besides that I've dropped like Blade and Soul and Momo Fune Sword I was supposed to have a second season but uh, no <laughs> I mean I gave it too many chances uh, uh, alongside, you know, uh, during its run. Um, so uh, yeah, um, what I, you know, what I'm, I'm sure that I will keep watching is, for example, the new, the new, the second season of uh, of Gundam. You know, um, Iron Blooded Orphans, um, because you know Gundam is always cool, uh, and uh, they have really, um, you know, they have shown the the pervert uh, effects of uh, of uh, you know uh, uh, children soldiers uh, that can that you know that actually achieve something um, I think that it's you know great to see uh, their uh, you know them com condemning something that they have you know made a trend of in anime uh, but uh, they still do it anyway.
So, uh, yeah. What, what else? I mean, I'm probably gonna watch everything till the end. But, uh, yeah, you know, there's the off chance that I might drop something. Um, not the series that have started last season, though, or, you know, for the, uh, in the case of, so say, you know, Omyoji, uh, like back in, in spring, because, I mean, we're too far already. We have passed the halfway point, so, uh, what's the use of dropping it, you know? So, uh, yeah. Now I'm gonna cook some rice. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's before Raw. I'm not even sure that I'm gonna watch Raw live. I'm, uh, I'm really not, you know, convinced or motivated for that kind of shit. So, uh, yeah. I probably have made up my mind by then. Uh, at any rate, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.